Hey dolls! All right, it is time for another monthly favorites. And you guys pretty much know the drill of how these go. I'm just gonna kind of jump right on into it. So the first items that I love this month are from Cutie Crew Creations. They are adorable phone cases. I got this one right here, which has my name on it, and it's all fluffy. And there's also a little rattle that makes some noise when you shake it. There's a little Corylacuma right there. Thank you so much, those of you at Cutie Crew Creations. This case is absolutely adorable, and it's got lace detailing around it, and it's super easy to get on and off my phone, which I really appreciate. And then they were kind enough to also include this one, which was super cute. It's got a little kind of Nico Rilakuma, Co Rilakuma theme to it, and it is also on one of those really simple to get off cases. It's kind of like a rubber case and this one is like a uh, rhinestone. Thank you so much Cutie Crew Creations for these adorable, adorable cases. And I will leave the link to their shop below and I will also leave the link to any other products I mention in this video if I can find them or if I can locate them or what have you. So always check the description box of my monthly favorites if you wanna know where I get the things that I mention. And along the line of phone cases, I also got this Hello Kitty wallet case. I picked this up off of eBay, just like everything else that I have in my life, it seems like. Uh, I did get this off eBay. I wanted a really cute wallet case for when I go out of town and I don't want to carry my whole purse with me if I just am like leaving the hotel room to go eat something and then come back or whatever. It has a little wrist strap on it, which makes it even more convenient. Here's the back. It has the camera hole open so you can still take pictures. And then opening it on up, it has a couple slots for cards and then like a little money stash back here. And then of course the phone fits right in there. If you guys just type in Hello Kitty wallet iPhone case, it should pop up within the searches. That is practically what I did. So it's just adorable. I love the little rose accents and it's Hello Kitty. So of course it's just extra, extra, extra cute. All right, next thing we have are nail polishes. And you guys have heard me talk about Madam Glam before. I actually have a full tutorial on how I did the nails that I'm wearing right now, which I will link on the screen. But this is actually color changing nail polish. And I am obsessed with this stuff during like the summer because it's really fun to have a certain color nail polish. And then when you get into the cold water or you go swimming, your nail color changes. It's like a minor detail, but it's it's really fun and you can really play with different colors and things and again this is from Madam Glam I do have a coupon code which you guys can use but they have color changing polishes they have regular polishes I love this pink one it reminds me of like the bubblegum pink on my walls this one is in the shade rose but they are just gel polishes and you can do your own at-home gel manicure and I have had this probably on my nails for about a week now and it's still there and the one I have on my nails is called It's a Funny World. Next up is my wig. You guys know I actually have a, another one as well. Uh, these are two separate company wigs. They're two separate brand, two separate companies. But they are similar in the fact that they both have the dark root and then they transition to the blonde. And I just wanted to mention this in here. I have been absolutely loving blonde hair on myself lately. And I think I'm slowly going to color strip my own hair and just lighten it a little bit here and there. But I absolutely love this color. I do kind of miss being a blonde. I'm not gonna go back to platinum blonde or like bleach bleach blonde or Barbie blonde, but I really do like this kind of natural, somewhat ashy blonde or strawberry blonde. It's really, really pretty. And I'm very, very, very much contemplating going this color, except all the way to my roots as well so like no dark roots just all the way and you guys know that I am a natural blonde so yeah this is actually more of my real hair color than the black brown that you guys are used to seeing and this wig right here is actually a human hair blend so this is partially human hair mixed with some synthetic and it is from NikkiBellaHair.com they were kind enough to supply me with this wig and you guys Oh, I love this wig so much. It came pre-styled. I just, I really like it. 
Okay, my next favorite also is a hair or head accessory. This is a little pom-pom headband from Hot Topic. My friend Momo, Momo Tokyo here on YouTube, she actually got this um, a little recently and as soon as she got it, she texted me and said, you have to have this, it is so you, you need this right now, go get it. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know if I can make it to the store, so I'll just order it online. And long story short, I, there's a huge story behind this headband. A huge story. I didn't even end up getting it with my order online. I don't know what happened, but I did manage to find it in store and I just purchased it in store. So I have my headband now and now my friend Momo and I, we match, we're twins. It's just really, really fun and super cute and it reminds me of like a little teddy bear because you guys know how I love where, to wear my cat ears and stuff. So this reminded me of a little teddy bear and she was right. As soon as I saw that she had them, I was like, yes, I need those. Those are 100% me. I need them. <laughs> Okay, and then along the lines of accessories, you guys saw this in my Pokemon Go vlog, but this is my pink Pokemon lanyard, and then I have all these little buttons all over it, a couple hair bows, and some badges. I just wanted to include this because it has been an absolute favorite of mine. I like to wear this when I go out so people know that I'm Pokemon hunting and stuff. And I did get a few uh, other buttons since I last showed this to you guys. I got these two they actually came in a three set so it says team mystic and then it's got the little articuno logo and then this one that came with them as well that just says pokemon go so i have all of those now and i don't think i'm going to be getting any more right now but if i do get more in the future i will keep you guys updated or make an instagram post or something like that okay now my favorite summary items number one are flip flops I have been wearing the crap out of flip-flops because they're super cheap, they're cute, they go with pretty much everything I own and wear, and if I want to go swimming, I can wear them in the river, and they're just, they're so versatile, they're so cheap. I got these ones, I think, for like 97 cents at Walmart one year or something, but they're pink and they're cute, and I just love these. Then I wanted to show you guys this new swimsuit that I got. Uh, you guys remember me talking about Adore Me. I love Adore Me so, 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 so much. They are like my saving grace for when it comes to finding things that my boobs will fit into. <laughs> I'll link my video that I did about them right here if you are someone who is larger chested like me I share my experience what I've gone through how to find the perfect bra for you everything like that So I will link that video right there and hopefully it will help you guys I have had several people message me and say thank you so much for telling me about our door me because they are amazing and yes they are amazing like hands down if I if they did not supply me with products to share with you guys I no joke would purchase things through them because literally it's like the only place that sells things that my boobs fit into. I I have like no other options right now. So yes, Adore Me is great and their sets are pretty affordable. So this is the swimsuit I got. It looks really awkward holding it up, but it kind of sits like this and then it ties in the back. I don't know if you guys can really see. But I like this one in the fact that I naturally am super pale, as you guys can see. But this is lighter than my skin tone. It makes my skin tone look like it's darkened just a couple shades. Like I've got a little teeny tiny tan. So <laughs> I like this. It kind of tricks the eye a little bit because it's an optical illusion that I'm a little bit darker than I really am. Um, as far as being tan in the summer. I don't tan, I burn, so it's like impossible. But this is the one that I got. It's super cute. And then here are the little bottoms. I love the little bottoms. They have like the little opening on the side and the little booty and they're just very cute. I love Adore Me so much for swimsuits, bras, underwear, lingerie, whatever. Ugh, check them out, like seriously. And along the lines of me getting burned during summer, this is my favorite sunscreen just for the simple fact that it is a lotion sunscreen. I hate, absolutely hate putting on sunscreen. Like it just feels oily and gross and like I have to lather my whole body in it and it just feels really ucky. <laughs> So I love that this one is a lotion sunscreen because it does feel more like I'm putting lotion on rather than sunscreen. It has a beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, like, 
paradise scent to it and also it, I think it has little tiny flecks of sparkles or glitter within it so I feel like I'm all shiny and sparkly when I do put it on. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch and this is the SPF 30. Sometimes I'll switch between SPF 30, SPF 50. It just really all depends on what they have in stock and whatever is cheaper. So uh, yeah but um, it even says oil free and water resistant and all of that fun stuff. So this is definitely my favorite sunscreen. And the last items are beauty products. The first is a beauty tool of some sort and I have never ever ever seen one of these. I was out of town on vacation with my mom in Nevada um, like a while ago. It was back in June actually but I think I forgot to tell you guys about this thing. I don't know why, but this thing has been a saving grace for me. I absolutely love it. It is a beauty scraper. And what it is, it is a tool that has kind of this little arrowhead spatula on the end of it. And what it's supposed to do is when you have a bottle of foundation or any type of liquid makeup, you just screw the cap off stick the little spatula inside of it and scrape around and pull it out and it will take out all of the excess product that you haven't get that you haven't gotten or that you can't get just by like dumping it upside down this thing has saved so much money like I, you, it's amazing I, this thing is absolutely amazing and you just scoop it out wipe it on the back of your hand pick it up with your beauty blender put it on and wipe this down or rinse it under some hot soapy water and it's clean and ready for the next use. This thing has saved so much money and I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's just called a beauty scraper. I threw away the packaging. Look into it if you're seriously considering getting one of these. I would. It was about $3 at Family Dollar. When I was out of town, I got it there, but they may sell them at places like Walmart or Walgreens. I don't know. Let me know. Let others know in the comment section below. And the last two items are, like I said, beauty products. They are both from NYX, and this one is a BB cream. This one is in the shade Nude because I am super, super pale. It just looks like this. It is in a squeezy tube. Before I put on powder or anything on top, I actually use this NYX Wonder Stick. And I picked this up the same day that I picked up the BB cream. Mine's a little grubby. It's been through some stuff. <laughs> but on one end, it has the concealer. And on the other end, it has the contour stick. So you get the best of both worlds with this. First I conceal and then I contour. You guys have seen me do a tutorial or two with this product and this blends so easily with this. With a beauty blender it just works so 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 well just blending in together. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy I got these to try out. They have not broken out my skin. I've had no issues. I love how like it, it's like hydrating. It doesn't it doesn't dry out my face which is very very nice but I absolutely love these and I do highly recommend them oh and the shade on this concealer wonder stick thingy is light medium okay so that is everything for my July favorites I do hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any of these products in the comment section below and what is your favorite and with that being said I guess I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye